this whole body of work is influenced by the Mexican Revolution, which begins in 1910, pretty much is wrapped up by 1924, but their work, influenced by that revolution, will continue well into the 40s and 50s. They are liberating a peasant. They're cutting his hands loose, and they're wrapping him in a blanket, and if you look at his body, it's naked. It has been violated usually with looks like some punishment, some whipping scars on his back. You don't see his face, which I think suggests that Rivera said there were many thousands more like this. So the border, first of all, in those days, was little more than a fence. You could walk over it. It was maybe barbed wire. In some places, there was no border. So the border was much more fluid than it is today. Start with the American side. You might think she's celebrating American industry. But if you look more closely, the towering factory smokestacks, the skyscrapers are meant to look forbidding. Now, if you shift to the Mexican side of the border, agriculture, rocks, and then we've got what looks to be the remnants of some kind of pre-Columbian city. So, she's proud of her Mexican heritage, but she also is maligning the relationship between the United States and Mexico during the Porfiriato.